Good morning YouTube. So I've added a battery management system or BMS card to my power shelf. So this is a 4S 40 amp BMS and the way it works it's got the battery connection over here the two yellow wires. This is your battery negative and your battery positive. So this runs to the plus and minus of the battery pack and then you've got a balance cable here well I guess this this board handles 3S and 4S so it actually has just a 3S balance cable you've got your most positive wire on this end and if it were a 3S pack the far wire here would be your most negative but when you wire it up with a 4S pack, the battery negative is your most negative balance lead. And it's also backwards as far as your normal balance charger balance cable because most balance chargers have the most negative pin on this end and the most positive pin on the other end of the connector. So this one is reversed and it's also missing a wire so what I have is that wire is hooked up here separately so that's this cable here so I have the one two three four wires most positive and then the negative one there and then your battery negative is the most negative connection so it's it's a kind of a strange uh, connection there so that's why I have it wired independently of my regular balance cable so here again is your battery plus it's also your power or they call it P plus so that's a common connection there all the positives are tied together and then over here is your P minus or power minus connection so that's where my battery charger is hooked up so the battery charger plus is here, battery charger minus, and then I've added this little uh, blue LED. You probably can't see it. This little blue LED is on whenever this BMS board is on. And the way it works then is these two rows of four MOSFETs connect the battery minus to the power minus, and that lets charging or discharging of the batteries occur and if the sensed voltage here drops below two and a half volts per cell or if it goes over about 4.3 volts per cell I think is the over voltage these MOSFETs shut off and then that stops charging or discharging the pack and it also has uh, current sensing down here there's three big uh, current sensing shunts so this is rated 40 amps continuous, which should be more than enough to uh, handle my requirements. And then I have the uh, temperature sensor just plugged in a, between a couple of cells there. But anyway, I'm using that to take care of the, the 4S pack that I have powering my battery charger. So I have the battery charger set up to stop discharging if this gets below 12 volts and also to stop if it gets above 16.8 this one will shut off if anything gets below two and a half or above 4.3 volts so i think that should uh, keep everything safe here the reason i added this was when i first hooked this up i don't think i properly balance charged the 4S pack. I think what I did was I plugged in the 4S pack, plugged in my balance cable, and did a balance charge. And the charger said it finished, so I assumed that everything was balanced. But what I've learned is you can't really expect a balance charger to balance charge like this is a 30, 30 to 33 amp hour battery pack because the way the balance charger works when it's uh, charging let's say you set it at 10 amps you're pumping 10 amps in here 
that's during the constant current charging so you're pumping 10 amps in until you hit in this case uh, 16 volts 4 volts per cell times 4 series and then you taper the current off starting at 10 amps 9 8 7 until you get down to 10 percent or 1 amp and then the charger shuts off assuming that the batteries are fully charged now the balance charging part with your balance cable the way that works is if any cell gets above in this case 4 volts the balance charger will stop charging and then it will using the balance leads will discharge any cells that are above 4 volts brings them down under 4 volts and then it starts charging again through the the main terminals and then once a cell again gets above 4 volts it'll discharge through the balance leads and then it goes back to charging the problem is if you're off let's say I was off by maybe 5 amp hours between groups of cells the balance charging current actually on this BMS is only 40 milliamps on my uh, eye charger it's about 300 milliamps and if you're off by say 5 amp hours between one group of cells and the other group that would take you probably 16 or 17 hours to balance out 5 amp hours at a 300 milliamp discharge rate. Problem is the charger is going to shut off as soon as it gets down to 1 amp. So it gets down to 1 amp and it shuts off and it really hasn't balanced charge. So I had two groups of cells had dropped well below 3 volts and then finally the battery charger shut off so then I've added this BMS board to protect against that then the, the next time I charge these I tried to bring the two low groups up manually until I thought they were about equal to the upper two groups but it turns out I didn't do a very good job of that I only got these about half charged and these the other ones were maybe three quarter charged so I had the shut off problem again this BMS shut off when uh, one of these groups got below 2.5 volts and I'll, I'll cut in a little video clip of that this is the cell monitor I have running on my 4S lithium ion battery bank I've connected up a 4 cell 4 series BMS battery management board and it's supposed to cut off at 2.5 volts per cell and I've got one cell down about that voltage so we shall see if it shuts off here you can see I'll step through the other cells that's the number four cell so we've actually I've got some unbalanced packs 355 356 looks like 256 so I've got two strong packs and two weak packs I although I think these may not have been fully top balanced I think I'd had two of the packs more fully charged than the other two. Swing across here so we can see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it shut off. I just I was gonna swing over and take a look here at the uh, charger, but you can see the charger there has clicked off. Now this one is supposed to come up to uh, 2.9 if I remember right so the BMS board does work just earlier this week then I finally did a proper charge I charged each group individually using the fast charge on the eye charger so I brought each one up to four volts separately and then I did a balance charge I did a 10 amp balance charge and then I dropped it down and did a second 3 amp balance charge and now the these uh, groups of cells are holding very close to each other so I guess you know the one lesson is balance charging doesn't really apply to uh, a battery this large I mean this isn't a very large battery but you can't plug in a balance cable and hit balance charge 
and expect it to actually balance charge anything. So that's a good lesson I learned. And then uh, I finally learned how to charge these up manually. So there's quite a bit of uh, just learning experience here. Just learning how to charge and discharge these things and balance them. And that's uh, part of the reason I built this was to kind of get that experience before I committed to uh, soldering things together and permanently installing them. So anyway, I thought I'd share those uh, experiences and also show you the BMS board in there. So if you have any questions about that, post up in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.